Hey there. It's another new day. We are in Oshawa, Ontario. We just unloaded the big one. We just unloaded the big one. Whew. Now that most of my trailer is empty except for like 10 boxes. Something's rattling over there again. What's going on? We only got like 10 boxes left in the trailer, practically completely empty. We're driving up to Sudbury, dropping off a couple there, then we're gonna go to Sault Ste. Marie, drop off a couple there. But we're doing that tomorrow, so today we're just driving to Sudbury, about four and a half hours north. I'm here at the Flying G in Pickering, Ontario now. It's just a small little uh, travel plaza here. It's not one of the regular ones that you would see in the States. They sort of bought an old old truck stop I think and transformed it but there's parking here for trucks nonetheless and I see a good one right there in front of us I'm gonna nose in I need a nap I don't want a nap I don't gotta be in Sudbury till tomorrow morning and it's a four-hour drive from here and it's like noon so I'm gonna take like a two-hour nap and it's gonna be glorious I don't care what you say good nap Good nap. Oh, I think I even had good dreams. I don't remember. I think they were good. Oh, man. Okay, so it's 3 o'clock now. We had a two-hour nap. By the time we got to bed, it was 1 o'clock. It's going to be four hours, four and four and a half hours still to get up to Sudbury. Uh, it's north of Toronto, north of where we are now into uh, countryside of northern Ontario. All right, let's put it in gear. Let's release the brakes. We're gonna back out of here. I just went to go grab a coffee and on my way back, obviously, walked around the back of the trailer. <coughs> we are clear for launch. Put our four-way flashy thingers on so people know I'm doing something. I like nosing into spots like this to get peace and quiet. But you gotta be really careful when you back out then. Back out really slow. And make sure you go back there and check to make sure no one's like hanging out and visiting behind your trailer there first. I don't know why they would do that, but you never know. Check under your trailer and whatnot. You don't wanna back over anybody or back into anybody. That would be bad. Dude, let me hook you up here. Let me hook you up. Let me hook you up, boy. Let me hook you up. Have fun. Be safe. Don't go on. Don't just stand there. Come on, buddy. So what? Maybe I'm a little lazy and I don't want to go out there and walk them right now. I'll walk them later. I'll take them on a nice long walk. I'll let them run around. For now, I'm in a bit of a rush. This is just a pit stop, like I said. The handy thing about these extendable leashes, it's like five meters long, however many feet that is. So I can just stand in here, relax, and chat to you guys, and he's out there having a blast. Where'd you go, dude? There he is. Oh yeah. Just park along the edge of the rest area, let him give her. I do have to get out yet, though. I'm at the, the on route, just north of Barrie, Ontario, headed towards Sudbury. Stopped here for Timmy's and to let him do his stuff. And once we get to Sudbury, We'll take him and let him run around. But for now, like I said, let him do his business. I can go do my business, and we can get back to business.
another day behind us and there's another day in front of us tomorrow. This is what my truck looks like as I'm getting ready for bed. I move everything that's in this corner here to over here. <laughs> I could use a little more storage space in this truck. I could, but it works. Whatever, I make it work. Uh, not all of this stuff is always in here. Like this, this box here uh, is not always in here. I just took it with me on this trip because I picked it up on the way <clears throat> on the way out from home. So it's just a little ride along passenger for this trip, and then that'll go up. But most of this stuff all stays here. This is my uh, cell booster box. That won't be in the truck next trip either. The rest of it most likely will be. Yeah, it's my drone down there. There's. Oh, we make it work. <laughs> I always put it on this side though. You might be wondering why does he always put it here? I put it there to protect this area of the bed from Diesel and his hair So that when I lay my head down on this side, I don't get hair in my mouth overnight See not just a pretty face. It is really warm here though as you can see Oh, I try not to idle my truck overnight if at all possible but some nights it just gets too hot, you know what I mean? You just gotta start it up for a bit, cool it off, and then hope that your truck insulates well enough that it sort of stays in for a while. Because <laughs> uh, it's a waste of fuel idling through the night. This truck is equipped with a bunk heater for winter time to keep you warm so you don't have to idle the truck, but it does not have an APU that provides air conditioning. That would be nice, but you know, you can't have everything, and I'm happy with this truck. I really love driving this truck, I do. I do. If, if I were to uh, get a new Western Star of my own, I would get the extended sleeper, obviously, but like I said, there's nothing to complain about. So thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> Every time I press record, this orange light flashes to, I guess, focus the camera. <laughs> Gets me every time. It like blinds me right before it starts recording, and I'm like, uh, 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 what? Hi, guys. <laughs> so thanks for watching. The vlog today. Tomorrow's going to be another vlog, I promise. I shouldn't make promises because I don't know. There's a very high chance that there will be another vlog tomorrow. Just like the past, I don't know, four or five years. They just keep coming. I don't know where they come from, just they pop right out of there. Good night, guys.